Hi YouTube, this is Tasha Smith. I am coming to you. First of all, I want to say I partnered with Full Screen. I am so excited about that. I'm shocked that I got it because so many people kept saying, oh, you can't get Full Screen unless you have a certain amount of subscribers or a certain amount of viewers. And I felt like, oh, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't have a lot of views. So ooh, they're not going to accept me. But they did. Maybe if they think your channel has any type of potential, they'll accept you. I, I really don't know. Now I'm kind of like guessing. But I'm assuming. But anyway, I just want to shout out to the full screen team. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this because um, I didn't think you would accept me. But I think as your channel grow, I think they will probably accept almost anybody or everybody. You know, as long as um, you doing the right things with your channel, they, they don't mind. So I appreciate that. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I know that I got to work my channel. I know that because I got partnered with them doesn't mean that I'm going to wake up the next day and have a million views. No. I have to still work my channel. But once I am completely linked with them, I know things are going to change. But I got to be the person that takes those first two steps and they'll help me take the next two steps. So that's the way I believe it works. Um, some people are getting a little disappointed, but I think you have to still work the channel. Do as, do as you normally would do. If you always upload new videos, you always do nice videos, continue to do that. Don't change because you got partnered with the organization and think that um, you're going to wake up and have 5,000 people. No, it doesn't. Um, be honest about what you do and share your channel. Um, share other people's channels. Like uh, other people's work besides you, um, you don't want to seem like it's just all about you. So you know, show other people you're there to support them just as well as you hope they want to support you. So I think that's what makes it go round. We gotta be fair. But anyway, um, let me stop talking so much. But thanks again, once again, for the stream. I think all my subscribers, I think all my new subscribers. I hope I don't offend anybody with the videos that I'm making. It's all in fun. Please understand, it's fun. Don't take things personal because it's life, okay? That's how life is. Um, my channel is not derogatory. I would never let it be like that. But I may, may certain things may go on because my dolls are like adult dolls. Um, excuse me. I am finally starting to get, you know, miniature dolls in, in my show and I want to incorporate it into the show. But anyway, with that further said or done, I got this off eBay and this is super cool. It's a car that I want to use for Stefan. Um, Cause Stefan is, is is fly cool vampire, right? So he had to have a nice fly car. This is the Mycene dolls. This is their um silver convertible, the bling bling car. I'm looking up because my camera is kind of sitting awkward. So I'm just trying to show it to you. This is a used car I got off of eBay for $13.99. I don't mind used things as long as the t condition is good. And yes, that's my bubble head in the background. Say hi. Say hi because she's the one that's messing with everything. All my toys and dolls and messing with their hair and she won't let me comb her. So let me move along to something else. Here's another new doll. Um, here's a Tiana Disney doll. I'm just showing you right quick what I have. These are all these things I bought from um, Walmart. Here's another new doll. You know, I don't want to just keep buying dolls and um, don't, you know, go move forward with the show. But, you know, I realized that I didn't have no little ones. I said, I need little people in the show. It's not just grown-ups. You know, we have kids, too. So, here's another new one. And they are all so super cute. So cute. Um, I don't mean to be rushing, but I'm trying not to have a video. I store this in Walmart and I got it. It's super cute. It's a high speed. Um, I want to use this for my Dreams of Ice episode. That's going to be a big project that I'm going to do. It's going to be a whole stop. So that's going to be a big project. Um, I do want to challenge myself to do it so because it's a story that I did write or I've written over 20 something years ago and I want to turn it into a, a stop motion um, movie. Some more Barbie clothes because you know I'm always complaining. 
I don't have no my dolls don't have any clothes. And then on top of it, I can't sew. So I'm going to try to learn. Here goes some more. Okay, so basically I, I did get to Walmart. I had a ball. I needed to leave because, like I said, I would probably come home with no money. Okay. Um, moving along. And basically I just got some arts and crafts stuff that I do need to work on some more things. Um, I'm it in back here. Definitely needed a new glue gun because I had a little tiny glue gun and it was not doing anything for me. So this is going to be fun to work on my arts and crafts. And I got this at Walmart and it was like $9.99. Cool. Then you in here. I got these other things. I should have it on the table already so you can see. Spot liner. You know, this ribbon. You know, it's a polka dot. I just think it's cute. I just buy them because sometimes they like like a dollar ninety nine, and you always when you're working on arts and crafts, it's always nice to buy these little things because you are always find um, you can use them. Um, but and just like more, I love these things here. These little glue sticks. Elmer's is good. I think it's like one of the best. I love this um, type of glue. Um, um, I also have some just little arts and craft things, you know, more glue. I believe this is, um, this is indoor adhesive craft, strong bond. So I'll be needing it because I'm working with like little wood project things. Some, some little sticks like the dollars. Um, I got all the stuff in the box. And here are the these are the glue sticks for the glue gun. And Walmart has a very nice price for these things, so I love them. Some more little paint brushes so I can work with some of my stuff. Also has some other type of glue. Just more dollars. Oh, and these. These things right here, they call acrylic jewels, and it's like 300 in the pack, so I can bling out some stuff. You can see. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is super bright all of a sudden um if you can see it um right out of Walmart I think this was like $4.99 or $3.99 um what else and I'm still trying to come back to you oh more stuff and this right here is really nice um when you do an arts and crafts because it it's uh it's there's a no wrinkle you know when you're working with craft and paper Certain times when you glue things down, it starts to get all wrinkled and bubbled. So this is really nice to use. I, I really like this stuff here. Um, and some paint that I got. You know, this little red one. This is really nice. Sometimes it's in Walmart. It's like forty-seven cents. Can't go wrong. That's red. I got a light blue. And I got a regular blue. It's a darker blue. So I can't wait to do some more stuff. And I bought these little wooden stick things. Not sticks, I'm sorry. These are like assortments caps, but I'm gonna use them for legs to to go onto my wooden tables, like unfinished wood where I can paint it. So that's what that is. And that's basically it because um it's just a little stapler. It's really not for me. It's for my daughter. So when I go Walmart, you always find really nice things in there. So yeah, so that's basically it right now. I'll come back to you and I'll show you the main thing that I bought that I am super excited about. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the biggest surprise that I have. Okay. Bye.